Ooh, buddy. Today's a special day. I'm excited. We got some stuff. We got a package. We got a package in the mail. Check it out. <gasps> Who's that from? What's that say right there? That's me. Who's that from? Yeah, right there. Uh-oh. Reno May. Don't hate me, Reno May. Please don't hate me, Reno. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Shoot Ride Live. My name is Joe. We have a package today. I have not opened this yet. It is still completely sealed. We are going to do it together and take a look at what I purchased. This is an armor bundle from AR500.com. I ordered this on their July 4th sale that they had. I've never had body armor before. This was not sent to me for free. I purchased it. Therefore, I'm not going to take it out and shoot it. This is not a review of their plates. This is not a review of if it works or not. This is actually my own personal armor that I ordered for myself. Let's get in it. All right. Set that aside. So we, what we have in here is the Testudo Gen 2 Independence Day package. It's the Testudo plate carrier, the Gen 2. It's uh, in black. I've got two level 3 11 by 14 inch multi-curve uh, base coat plates and then two of the 11 by 14 trauma pads, blunt force trauma pads. So let's see. So we've got the pack on the top. Got our two trauma pads. These go behind the plates, front and back. And if you don't know what these are for, when you have a plate system and you have that force of the bullet hitting the plate, these are basically designed to kind of take some of that pressure off of your body from that, that force hitting it. It absorbs some of that kinetic energy. So we got two of those. Plate number one. Plate number two. Now the reason in the beginning of the video I said Reno May, please don't hate me. There's another YouTuber uh, named Reno May. That's his channel. You should check him out. He actually just made a video as of me recording this today. He made a video yesterday talking about why you should not purchase AR500 products. Uh, he had some good points. Uh, I don't know if I would completely agree with everything that he said, but this I'm not purchasing for if I am in an extended firefight. This is something where if I'm in a situation, this is going to be something that is going to save my butt in a situation until I can either get to good cover, something of that nature. But this is really just going to be to, to save my butt. If I'm in an extended firefight where I'm going to be taking multiple rounds of high caliber, it's just going to be the luck of the draw if I make it out or not. So on the back of these, they have a sticker, threat rating, level 3, multi-hit protection against 762, uh, full metal jacket, steel jacketed bullets with a specified mass of 9.6 grams, 147 grain, and velocity of up to 2,780 feet per second, plus or minus 30 feet per second. So that's the top rating for this. So this should stop anything 762 and down. Is that always gonna be the case? Are you gonna have hot loads that can reach the 3,000 foot per second mark? Sure, uh, you know, that's, that's very possible. But would I rather have this than not have this if something were to happen? Absolutely. So let's take a look at the carrier.
All right. So this is the Testudo carrier here. I honestly thought that there would be an AR500 patch on there. Nope, not in the box. Um, okay, well, it is what it is. The plates just fell over, so there's that. What I'm going to do is get the plates and the trauma pads put in, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I got the trauma pads and the plates installed. I've got the side straps adjusted. Go ahead. Get that all Velcroed, and here we go. This entire setup is approximately 25-ish pounds with the plates and the trauma pads and the vest. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna set it up yet. I will most likely have my knife here on this side, which is this guy here. This will be in this area. Somehow I will attach it to the Molly system, uh, you know, for easy access for when I need it. And I will have a magazine set up on my left side. What I'm not gonna do is attach anything to the front. And the reason being for that is I don't want anything extra here in the way. You'll see a lot of guys set up their vests where they've got a double layer or even sometimes a triple layer of magazines. My philosophy is if I have to go prone down to the ground, I don't want anything extra here getting in the way or snagging on anything while I'm trying to move around, get up or whatever it is that I have to do. So I want this area to be as clear as possible. Uh, there might be a couple of little things that possibly end up on here, but there won't be much. I'm gonna have magazines on this side. I will probably have some type of pack that I attach to the back. As for like a medical kit, trauma kit, that'll be something that will be attached probably on the sides lower, or I will be carrying it in a completely separate pocket, like a smaller kit uh, or in the pack on the back. But I wanna keep the front as clean as possible. It's comfortable, it doesn't hit my neck on the sides, it's movable and going forward, anytime you guys see me shooting, if I'm out at the range or if I'm up at the mountain and I'm doing any shooting, I will be wearing this. Uh, there might be a few cases where I'm not, but for the most part, I'm going to be wearing this because if I'm out shooting, I want to be practicing my movements and the feel of how it would be if I'm wearing this so that if I get in a situation where I need this, I'm not, it doesn't throw me off. If you do get body armor, I highly suggest that you do the same thing. Anytime you go and train or practice, wear this uh, or whatever set it is that you have so that you're, you're using it uh, to be used to it in your practical situations. And on top of that, it'll also get you used to doing those things or those drills or those movements with the extra weight because this in itself, the setup may be an extra 25-ish pounds, but then you're gonna have loaded magazines, you know, I'll have my knife on this side and then whatever else I choose to attach to it, say in the pack in the back, that's all gonna be extra weight that you need to be used to carrying in that type of situation so that you don't get out there and you're like, oh, I'm protected, I have all of this stuff, woohoo, but then you get five steps down the street or up the mountain and you're like, ooh! I can't do this anymore. Oh. Right? So you need to have that practice. Cardio. What, what's what's the first rule of Zombieland? Cardio, right? I mean, I would have picked Twinkies, but, you know, cardio. Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm Joe with Shoe Ride Live. This is my new self-armor pack. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. I love you. I'm out.